Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would talk about brush lettering and brush calligraphy because I have just started getting into it and I find that getting into a new hobby or a new art form is really, really hard. There doesn't ever seem to be like a clear way to dive right in. So I thought I would start doing some videos about calligraphy because I am just getting started. So we can kind of go on the journey together if you're interested or you're just curious about the process that I'm getting into. So I thought today's video would be really good if I just talked about the worksheets I found, the utensils or the tools I'm using, and just how I feel about the overall process so far. So let's start off with things that I'm using. So I saw on Instagram, a calligraphy Instagram, use these Sharpie brush pens. And I thought it was just the easiest way to get a lot of different colors quickly and affordably. So I got all of these, I think there are 10, I don't know how to count. There are 12 of these brush Sharpies and they were about $14 on Amazon or something. I will link it in the description below if you wanna check them out. But they are just really, really easy to use if you wanna get started and you don't know how to like approach getting a pen or something because I know that calligraphy can get really, really expensive. And if you don't know that you're going to enjoy it or stick with it, you want something that's a little bit more affordable. And I love that you get tons of different colors. So it just keeps things a little bit more exciting and interesting right off the bat. So I will show you a close up of these when I change the camera angle and get a little bit deeper and show you what I've learned so far. But these are really, really awesome and what I have been using. And then I also found two different sites with handouts that I really, really enjoy. One is better than the other. So I will start with my least favorite of the two. This is from Dawn Nicole Designs and it is a 30 days to better brush calligraphy sh worksheet and this is for bees and i think it's a really good worksheet if you want to find a different font style but i've found that i don't write like this this is not how calligraphy works for me i have a very hard time getting these thin lines and i just don't like the style of the fonts very much which i think is something you're gonna find when you're looking for worksheets and trying to get into calligraphy is that there are certain styles that work better for you than others and it was really nice to practice and I think using different worksheets that may not work for you completely is a good way to just expand your style and to practice a little bit more. So they are free on her site which is why I went to it in the first place. She has a worksheet for each letter and I think a few word worksheets as well. My favorite worksheet, however, is from Kelly Creates, and she is the Instagram that I originally found the Sharpie brush pens on, and her worksheets break things down really, really well. You have to purchase them. This one is a free sheet that she gave out for August, so I downloaded it just to see what it was like. I didn't wanna make the purchase for sheets if I didn't think they were very good, but I definitely, am considering a lot stronger now that I've used this for a few turns that I should get her worksheets because they're just really good and her font is very much like how I naturally write. So the cool thing about Kelly Creates Worksheets is that it shows the start and the lift point. So it tells you the direction you should start your letter in and then when to pick up your pen. Because the thing with calligraphy is that I've definitely noticed that's different from cursive writing, is that you don't write continuously. You take breaks in the middle of letters sometimes to get the strokes that you're looking for. And this is really, really nice because it shows you exactly where to do that and then gives you broken down letters and then connects them and then gives you the full letter and then leaves you with space to try it on your own. So I just think this worksheet really helps you to progress through a letter, have some muscle memory and then get it all figured out. So I thought I would show you guys the pens. So I will use this pink one and kind of walk you through this worksheet. I've done this a couple of times. I am by no means an expert at calligraphy, but I thought I would just show you guys where I'm at now. Plus it'd be a fun way to look back and see how much I've progressed over time. So let's start with this top letter here. And so this is the start point and then you go heavier and then you lift up. So you start, then you push down and then you lift. 
So obviously these are a lot thicker than the lines. That's just something that I am more than okay dealing with. It's more just to get the process down and then I move on to a blank sheet and try it myself. And I think using this um, pink is not the best idea because you can still see through it. So let's switch to something a little bit darker. Let's just use black. So you start, you go around, you push down, you start, you push down and then you lift up and so on and so forth. So the worksheet is just really, really nice to like get comfortable with pushing down on the Sharpies or whatever instrument you're using. And it made me a lot more confident than just like attempting it. Like I would watch YouTube videos and be like, oh, that looks fun. And then just try it right off the bat with just whatever utensil or pen I had on hand. And of course it doesn't work. You have to make sure you have the right tools. And these worksheets are really, really cool. I've also found that while I'm doing this, I can really start to see my style come through. At first you just kind of like trace it and you're not really confident, but like I've done this worksheet a couple of times now and you can see just in the middle of my age, I'm not sure if you can see with the lighting here, that you can see the gray outline peeking through because I tend to go a little bit taller with my curves and a little bit wider. And that's totally fine. These worksheets aren't supposed to teach you how to write someone else's handwriting. They're supposed to give you a sense of how to do the lettering so you can add in your own style. And then at the bottom, you can finally give it a shot yourself and see how it turns out. And afterwards, I always like to turn it over and I recommend if you're using these Sharpie brushes to use cardstock for your worksheets, but I always like to turn it over and just try to see what it looks like on my own. So there you have it, what I've learned so far with brush calligraphy and how I've been practicing. I definitely think it's a really good hobby to have if you're into planning and paper products and creativity because you get to buy more pens, you get to play around a little bit more. Plus it's really, really relaxing and something that I don't really feel like I have to put too much pressure on myself to be good at, which I really enjoy. So if you're interested in calligraphy or have been doing it, definitely leave links or comments in the descriptions about what you found that works well for you. Maybe your favorite pens for like thinner strokes because these definitely do very large thick brush strokes. So leave any references or helpful hints down there. I will definitely be checking them out as I figure out exactly where I want to go next with calligraphy. But that's going to be it for today's video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you want to see more about my calligraphy journey. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye!